Some of the evidence we heard last night that at least I found chilling was the, the, the communications going on among the Secret Service agents up there on Capitol Hill, where they were literally asking people to call their families and say goodbye for them. They were that concerned about what was going on. Things that were being heard in the White House by members of the National Security Committee at this council. At the same time, it appears the committee will not get evidence. We have some texts from the Secret Service. Uh, as a prosecutor, what do you do with that when it appears that evidence has been destroyed for whatever reason? We got to find out if, in fact, that evidence has existed, and then if it was destroyed, who destroyed it and why. And that's always a concern when you're a prosecutor as to if there's relevant evidence that's been destroyed, uh, why was it destroyed, and um, who is, who is responsible for that? That you know, if, if if there's evidence that's missing that was destroyed, and it turns out that that evidence was helpful to your case, you can always get an instruction from the court, and you can have negative inferences drawn from that. But we don't know where we're at with that yet. There seems to be some conflicting reports. But it's certainly something that needs to be looked into, because I think it's a critical piece of the puzzle.